I'm actually ashamed to think why I haven't come up with this video before because it is easily the best margin, best money making in terms of golf clubs selling, whether it's eBay, Facebook or wherever you find them, anywhere in the world, purely down to the fact that nobody wants to deal with them. $99.99 for that AP1, that is incredible, you didn't even bother cleaning it. And the grip is horrendous. Who's bought that for $75.99? Not eight, that's nearly £90. Guys, good morning, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Apologies for the attire, we are painting the upstairs now in the house. Um, uh, but I'm taking a quick break to make this video as I picked up an outrageous deal, and this is an outrageous deal. But it just wants to prove my point, but I picked up on a few of these deals over the last um, six months or so, and now I've got the space, and not necessarily um, conscious of golf clubs taking up um, uh, well, the flat, let's say, for long periods of time, this is something that I'm definitely going to dive into. And there's loads of benefits and bonuses while you guys, especially if you're just starting the game or you're looking to build up a bit of a cash stack to buy and sell clubs to obviously build your own bag, this is a great way of doing it. You need a bit of patience, you need a bit of time, um, but you can pick some outrageous deals, which I'm about to show you now. And then I want to give you um, the benefits on how to do it. And also when it comes to trying multiple different clubs, which I always advise for you guys that are just starting the game to see what works for you what shafts what um, uh, what materials what head designs what manufacturers whatever it is um, uh, so if you do like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new let me show you this outrageous steel I got the other day once this is clear then that is something that is definitely going to reduce my anxiety on a daily level um, but obviously all golf clubs down the right hand side which is fantastic um, uh, all this is going to be going I think I'm actually going to try and find like pro shop uh, slap walling like if you've ever been to an old school pro shop or probably many pro shops still have it they have like brown um, uh, walls basically with slat walling where you just put loads of golf club holders and you can obviously put hats, walls, clothes, golf clubs. But specifically, I think it looked really good if I had just one side of this wall just all slat walling because A, you can just put normal shelves on it anyway. So if I have to store stuff, then I can do that. But the better thing is that there's tons of iron holders, driver holders, wedge holders, whatever. So for the like premium stuff, expensive stuff. I think it'll look epic on this side and obviously sort it out and then I can still have a few bins and a few um, bags to obviously hold all the um, odds and sods which is kind of what we're talking about in this video but anyway that's the plan I think currently for the garage but these bad boys right here and I'm going to show you the listing now £60 I paid for these tailor made M4 irons 5 to sand wedge and the missing club is the pitch and wedge which is an absolute steel now the whole topic of this video is about iron sets are missing a club and this is where you can definitely step in and make quite a bit of money and we're going to talk about a few methods that you can do with this but obviously 60 pounds for these 10 pounds a club i mean that you could easily put these at auction with the missing pitch and wedge, which is what I've kind of done anyway, um, uh, which I'm not going to advise you normally do, and you're still going to make money. At that price, no question. But let's say, for argument's sake, these were 120 or £150, pounds, there's still great money to be had. I'm going to show you a few examples. Exactly what, let's say, a missing M4 7 iron is currently going for, because unlike the newer clubs, unlike the clubs that have recently come out, trying to find particular shafts, particular grips um, uh, the right length whatever it might be becomes tougher the older your set is and I always go on about it. if you've got a lovely set of golf clubs keep them in the bag don't bother getting rid of them if they work for you great but what happens if you've just stacked your seven iron and what happens if you've just lost your eight iron on the green because you did a cheeky bump and run and then you walked off and then you forgot about it and you rang the pro shop and they haven't seen it this is where you need a bit of patience but also you can definitely start building up your collection of golf clubs and i see many people do it on ebay and they do put them up there for quite ridiculous amounts of money um so i think there's a bit of a gap in the market i think we can a reduce the amount second-hand golf clubs should cost but also at the same time um, uh, give you a bit of margin to obviously build your bag so you can put something a bit more expensive in so let me tell you exactly what happens five times out of ten pretty much 50% of the public because obviously I've been in the situation when I've been in a pro shop and someone comes in and goes look I've missed I'm one of my irons, or I'm missing one of my irons, my eight iron, my seven iron, whatever it might be. Typically not a wedge, because they normally replace the wedge um, with something else, but any other set of their um, uh, clubs, if they're missing, they go, oh, I'm missing, what can we do on them? And I'm already looking at a new set of clubs anyway. Um, uh, so the majority of people, I think, rather than replace, because it is expensive to replace that iron, I mean, they're looking at it and they're going, oh, it's 
whatever, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, uh, to replace it, I might as well just go and buy a new set of golf clubs. Which isn't a bad thing, or they go and buy a new set of second hand clubs. But they just offload their broken set. And that is what it is, it's a broken set. Um, uh, and to find the right shaft and the grip and the head to match that, to make it useful now, is that really important for most amateurs? Probably not, but it is a psychological thing and there's just a load of work in someone's mind's eye to obviously get that finished. I wanna show you a job lot, I'll show you the video here. I got a whole lot of demo ping irons back in the day and if you didn't know, ping irons, um, uh, or any irons, let's say 15 years ago, um, or 10 years ago for that matter, weren't adjustable. So they weren't like clicking, they were all glued in, so they were basically just irons. And there was seven irons, six irons, and these are the ones that typically always go missing. People just take a seven iron to a par three tee box, or they're bumping, running it, whatever it is, and then they put it on the ground, hit their putt, and then hold the putt, so excited they walk off, and now I've lost their seven iron. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I bought a massive job lot for £125. And since then, and that was probably when we moved in, so that was probably what, eight weeks ago, I've sold four of them, as you can see here. I've sold one um, at Ping I25 for £49. I've sold a G20 for £44.99. Um, a Ping Rapture for £39, which I was quite surprised. That was one of the first to go. And then a Ping G15. And I've got a lot more of these next door to obviously put up. And as you can see, now, for a full set of Ping G15 irons. We are talking four to pitch and wedge, 200 pounds. But I've sold one for 54.99. Take away the delivery, take away the cost. Okay, so I'm probably, if I was to sell the whole set, break it down individually and sell them all at 45 pounds as the value, we're getting near to three to 400 pounds for that set that we would have bought, which we bought for 200 pounds. Now, you could go and buy a full set of Ping irons, tailor-made irons, Callaway irons, break them all down, sell them all individually, and I'm still pretty sure you would make that work. But here's the beauty. When people type in missing seven iron or missing six iron, people just can't be bothered. I haven't got the time or the space, which I haven't had in the past, to store golf clubs and forget about them. Clean them up, post them on eBay, leave them, forget about them, especially if you guys that aren't a business, obviously I'm a business, I have to pay 30p every month essentially to keep relisting these. But if you're not a business, it's free, put it up on eBay, and in a year's time, if it does sell, you've basically got your money back, and that is exactly what we were trying to do here. Right, okay, with that all being said, let's look at what tailor-made M4s are currently going. You can see mine are already listed up there. I've done this a three-day auction. The reason I've done that is that they're modern, and it's the pitching wedge. You can see I've listed there the pitching wedge that is actually missing. By all means, please do not go and um, bid on this for um, whatever you do, um, uh, because I'm showing you how you can get it cheaper or other sets cheaper. But you can see they're listed like full sets here, three, two, nine. So five to pitching wedge. Obviously, I've got the same amount of clubs. So obviously, I've still got six clubs. Two hundred pounds. I think someone. Obviously, I got it for sixty. So I'm still easily going to be making my money back. But again, I'd say for about three hundred pounds. Let's see what sold listing. 379, five sand wedge, that's left handed. So that's incredible. 372, wow. Um, uh, oh, interestingly, in the wrapper, they've sold an M4 for 49.95. That's actually a really good price. And it's um, uh, graphite. They must have got that so cheap. Um, uh, okay, so you're starting to see a bit of listings. Wow, seven iron. Uh, what? Who's bought that? Really? You mad. I mean, it is best offer and it's got a line out. So what for that actually went for? But this is what I'm trying to say. You can see here, for example, the pitching wedge M4 has gone for 79.95, which is incredible because if you bought this brand new, say this was the Sim 2 or let's say it's the Stealth and you rang Taylor made up and you said, I need a Stealth pitching wedge with trade and everything um, included, it's about 110 pounds, 120 pounds. So this is close to six years old and being close to retail, because where else are you going to get a pitch and wedge for? You can't get it from TaylorMade, so you can't get it from the manufacturer. You have to find someone else that's got a second-hand one, and if it's got the same grip and the same shaft, you're going to pay 60 to 70 pounds for it. So you can see how this is working. You've got people selling golf clubs for next to nothing because they can't be bothered to fill it, and they're thinking, I don't want to spend 100 pounds on a new club to fit my set that's probably worth 300. But what they're not thinking is, actually, why don't I just sell these all individually? Obviously, they don't want to wait. I mean, they kind of want the cash there, so I can understand that. But if they sell them all individually, that set, they can sell as a lot for £150, or they can sell it all individually for £400 to £450. And this is where you guys come in. And we'll look at some listings now to see if there's some deals here or something that you should have in your saved searches um, so you can take full advantage of this. And it's a nice way for you guys that have just started the game to be trying different clubs. You could buy a set for £50, 
you could sell one of them for £50. So you've got a full set of clubs there that you can try the 4-iron and the 5-iron. Do I like it? Do I want heavier clubs at the top end? Do I want blades down the bottom end? And you can do this over and over again. And there's nothing better than getting a notification from eBay going, you've just sold an iron, which basically costs you nothing. I mean, at this point, I've now got 30 ping irons next door that cost me nothing. I've covered my costs for them so that every time they sell, there's 40 or 50 pounds. That's just pure profit. It does take time but the margin is just astronomical. So here's what I typed in earlier, missing iron. And hopefully we find some, here we go. Right, okay, so this is yesterday, oh no, last week, 16th of Jan. Um, uh, and obviously you might have to type in different things here and there to get a rough idea, but this one's a classic, missing eight iron, so that's important. That's right in the middle of the set there. You can't break that down, you can't do like seven to pitch and wedge, or um, uh, you can't do the top end, that's right bang in the middle. But, here's my point. There is now eight clubs there. Is that eight clubs? Seven clubs. One, two, three, seven clubs. Seven clubs there, 122 pounds. So that person has got them under basically 20 pound a club. We're talking, let's say 17, 18 pounds. I can guarantee you now, actually let's. So, currently at the moment, the cheapest one is going for 65 pounds, including delivery. So you could, that person that has bought those could undercut the market by 15 pounds and still be easily the highest or the lowest or most competitive, I should say. You can see here, look, 59 pounds. That's 65 pounds, 49.99. Well, that's a nice little deal, 29.99. You can see where you can make a lot of money from these deals and just typing in missing iron. And for you guys that are potentially a bit more rural and you're like, Simon, I can't get great deals on Facebook or Simon, I haven't got all day to spend on eBay. I understand and I feel your pain. You can't spend all day looking for golf clubs. This is how you can do it. Go through sets, go through irons, type in missing irons, go to newly listed, see one sort of popping up. People won't be looking for them. They won't be bothering. This is, again, another great one that you could be tapping into. It's £95, but it had that slash through, so I'm pretty sure it didn't go for 95 You've got five irons there. They could easily all go for £30 to £40. Pounds. If someone's got a Ping G5 set and they need to fill in the gap, they're going to have to pay £30, £40 pounds for it. There's no point. And they would. I mean, I would. If I started the game... I've been handed down a set and it's missing a club. I don't mind spending 40, 50 pounds to make sure that set is um, uh, all up to date. 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds. And you'll see, like if we go into this seller here, this person will just sell um, individual clubs. I'm pretty sure, let's have a look. Yeah, so what they do is essentially buy a full set or broken set of golf clubs and then just list them all there. As you can see, I mean, basically just sell them for 100 pounds each. And, um, uh, Oh, I wonder if I can uh, go to seller's other item. This is where I've gone wrong. Here we go. Okay. Seller's other item. So you can see here, um, obviously, the full sets, but he's obviously selling broken sets as well. I want to find out exactly. I think this person's actually bought stuff off me before as well. How many sales? So this is all uh, this week, 21st, this or yesterday. Pitching was G5, 45.99. 199, 100 pounds for that F8. That's crazy because actually F8s are just going for um, one length as well. Now you think about it, one length is great because people lose a one length and it's going to match their set perfectly. Tailor made, 69.99 for that. That's incredible. What else have you sold? That Ping i3. I bet a lot of you are seeing yourself. You've got a set of these at home that you've got one club in the bag. You know what I mean? You're thinking, I didn't realise it's worth £80. <laughs> G10, oh he's done that actually, a bit of a deal, 6 iron, not that much, 75.99 for that A25 Pro 4 iron, 89.99 for that AP1, that is incredible, he didn't even bother cleaning it, and the grip is horrendous, who's bought that for 75.99, not eight, that's nearly 90 pounds, that's incredible, I'm in the wrong business, we need to do more of this, wow. So I think you're starting to see where, I mean, even clubs that are old, old. Now, he might have had these listed now for a year, two years. But does it really matter when it finally does that? If you kept, if it cost me, how much, 30p, so he's a business, so it cost me 35p per month, so that's what, £4, maybe £5 to list it for a year, and then he's probably bought it for a fiver. Like this, 9 iron here, 320 he's probably bought that for £2 at the car boot. Again, 39.99, incredible. This is all this month as well, 17th of Jan. We haven't even got to the end of the month. This is all this week. Incredible. Well, 
At least now you know it works. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like, that would be very much appreciated. And um, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys there.